Hello guys, welcome. This is Tepika from mytutorialrack.com and in this tutorial we are going to explore Einstein activity capture. Now first of all, let's understand what is Einstein activity capture. With the name indicates it captures the activities. Basically, for example, if you have sent a meeting invite to a particular contact of Salesforce via your Outlook or via your Gmail account, that meeting invite will also get reflected within Salesforce through this power of Einstein activity capture. And if you have set up a meeting invite with a particular contact using Salesforce, that meeting invite will also reflect in your email as well. So this is the power of Einstein activity capture. It helps you sync data between Salesforce and your email accounts. Now we are going to first implement this Einstein activity capture and you will see the power of Einstein activity capture in real time. But before we get into that, I want to cover some theory about this Einstein activity capture, what it does and also what are the benefits of using Einstein activity captures. So what is Einstein activity captures? Einstein activity capture enables you to capture the right data from Gmail and Outlook and add it to Salesforce. So anytime you're doing something through your Gmail account or your Outlook, that will get reflected within Salesforce. And if you're doing anything within Salesforce, will also get reflected in your Gmail. Means any activities that you do within Salesforce will also get reflected in Gmail. For example, if you have set up a meeting invite through Salesforce, that meeting invite will also show up in your Gmail calendar as well. So Einstein activity capture is great for syncing data between these platform. Einstein Activity Capture connects Salesforce to Gmail or Office 365, which means that events and emails will automatically be captured and added to the correct records in Salesforce. So any activities that you're doing within Salesforce will get reflected in your Gmail or Outlook. And if you are doing any activities through your Gmail or Outlook account will also get reflected within your Salesforce records as well. That is the power of Einstein activity capture. Now let's go ahead and cover the benefits of this Einstein activity capture. So Einstein activity capture, you do not need to manually enter your email data in Salesforce. So what emails have you sent with to this particular customer? You don't have to recreate them within your Salesforce. Automatically, the syncing is going to happen. If you have sent an email via your Outlook to a particular contact of Salesforce, that email will get reflected in that contact, under that contact. That is the power of Einstein activity capture. So you don't have to manually sync these two platforms together. All your inbound and outbound emails will also be auto captured and displayed in the activity timeline of either a related account, if that email is for a particular account or if that email is for a particular contact, lead, opportunity, contract and quote records. If that email is for any of these uh, related to any of those, those emails will be reflected under that specific account or under that particular contact, depending upon who that email was sent to. You no longer have to transfer the data manually. You don't have to do these things manually. You can send emails directly from Salesforce with the help of Einstein activity capture. So what is Einstein activity capture? It basically syncs the data between Salesforce and your email accounts. It can either be a Gmail or it can be Outlook. Let me repeat one more time here. So if let's say, if you have sent an invite to for a meeting to a particular contact of yours via your Outlook account, that particular invite will get reflected under that contact in Salesforce. If you have set up a meeting invite for a particular contact via Salesforce account, then what will happen is in your Outlook calendar or in your Gmail calendar, that meeting invite will get reflected. This is the power of Einstein activity capture. Now, how do we set up this Einstein activity capture? So the first thing is there are certain steps that are involved. The number one step that you have is you have to give yourself a license, okay? So first thing is you have to assign a activity capture license to that particular user. Once you have done that, then the next thing 
thing is you are going to assign a permission set which is a standard Einstein activity capture permission set that you have to assign to the user so the first thing is you have to assign a particular license to the user which is related to Einstein activity capture the second step is you have to assign a permission set to that particular user and third is you can set up your Einstein activity capture you can connect your Gmail or Outlook within your Salesforce okay and in this particular section we are going to connect our Gmail account with our Salesforce account so how do we do all of that we are going to see from the next tutorial onwards I'll see you then thank you very much